Disclaimer on. This video is pure for education purpose only. Please do your own research. Hi everyone, come back with us on the PuCoin Research Channel. This time we have a request for Analyze Meta MVRS token. Is this legit or scam? Check this out. Meta MVRS aims to help investors find an easy way to invest in a trio, NFT, Metaverse and Crypto. This token running on the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. Maximum supply is, 1 trillion tokens. But only 500 million tokens in circulation. Current market dominance is on BitMart Exchange with USDT pairing. But you can also buy on PancakeSwap with BNB pairing. This token was created on November 7, 2021. Three months ago. Meta MVRS has three main projects, MVRS NFT, MVRS staking, and MVRS swap. MVRS NFT is listed on OpenSea Marketplace, and currently has a price floor 0.04 Ethereum. There are 36 items for sale, and I see the highest price is 0.1 Ethereum. Their mission is, build the best community of metaverse believers. Ignite the torch that burns 1% token every Sunday, till 50% burning. And empower the community by adding value via weekly airdrops. MVRS staking up to 1669% APY. To start the staking program, you must have an MVRS token before, then connect your wallet. If you staking 7 days, you will get 869% APY, that is equivalent to 18.1% return per week. If you staking 30 days, you will get 1069% APY, that is equivalent to 89% return for a month. If you stake 90 days, you will get 1269% APY, that's equivalent to 317% return for 3 months. And if you staking 180 days, you will get 1669% APY, that is equivalent to 834% return for 6 months. This is a staking program that gives massive annual percentage yield. And MVRS swap, this decentralized exchange as usual. If you buy now, 1 BNB, you will get 116 million MVRS tokens. These are some of the partners and media that provide information about Meta MVRS token. And they will also sell merchandise soon. Roadmap. Their next target is to release the NFT marketplace, and merch store. Then in the third quarter, they will release Play to Earn Game, MVRS Workshop, and MVRS Social. I think this project will have a lot of ecosystem. This is what they call Empower the Community, by adding value via weekly airdrops. The next airdrop will send in 4 hours. But you have to stake a minimum of 125 million tokens to qualify, that's the equivalent of investing 1 BNB. Airdrop Reward, 1 million MVRS token. This project has been audited by Tech Audit. But the developer of this project did not verify the KYC. The results of checking, all passed, no issues found. But this is the result of an audit from a Tech Audit, I will be more sure if it is an audit from Certic. Wow, this token touched an all-time high of 11,288% on January 1, 2022. Then the current price has dropped 93% from the all-time high, that's a very deep decline. But early holders currently still have a large profit, 690%. Swap Analysis Swap Analysis Results there is no honeypot threat, you can swap your tokens at any time, because the contract is renounced, the developer does not have authorization for special permissions such as disable selling, or increasing trading fees so it is impossible to swap tokens. Buy and sell tax is 0%. There is no tax charged when swapping tokens, but since this token is already listed on a central exchange, I recommend that you make transactions there to avoid gas fees on DEX. The Holder Analysis 
tokenomic information just like this, 50% burn, but no details explained about the initial distribution. This looks like 5 wallets that are prepared to periodically burn 50% supply. This wallet is receiving a supply of 75 billion tokens, come check it out. In this wallet there are a total 1600 transactions. I don't know the allocation of this supply, but the average transaction is 1 million tokens, maybe this is the allocation for the weekly airdrop, but I'm not sure. There is no tokenomic information, this is quite risky for me, we don't know the amount of supply the developer and team have. Current holder, 7600. The total token that has been burned is 18%, it will continue to burn 1% every week until it reaches 50% of the total supply. This is the wallet for the staking program, currently contains 8.3% of the total supply. A total of 83 billion tokens are staked. The 8 major wallets that I marked receive direct supply from the deployer wallet, 5 wallets containing 10% supply each, this is used for scheduled token burning, but the other 3 wallet I don't know what they are for, but I'm sure these are owned by the developer. This wallet also gets a direct supply from the deployer wallet, a total of 2.4% of the total supply. After I check, some wallets that I marked also received direct supply from the deployer wallet. If all of them are totaled, the amount is 18% of the total supply. Because it is carried in a private wallet, of course this can be sold anytime. Oh, except for this wallet, this is the wallet for BitMart Exchange. And for the top holders, I mean investors, only have 0.6% of the total supply, that's equivalent $22,000. Holder analysis results. There is no tokenomic information, I assume the majority of the supply is still owned by the developer, and is hold in several wallets, because these wallets are not tied to a smart contract, they can be sold at any time. And for top holders only have supply below 1%. The last, liquidity analysis. Currently the largest volume is already on the BitMart exchange, liquidity should be said to be safe. The following analysis refers only to liquidity in PancakeSwap. Current market cap, $2,900,000. Availability of liquidity on PancakeSwap, 211 BNB. 99.5% liquidity is already locked in PinkLock. Let's check how long. There are 5 locking phases, the details are like this. All lock phases will expire in 42 days. Liquidity analysis results. As I said earlier, this refers only to liquidity in PancakeSwap. Liquidity availability, it's safe. But 99% liquidity will be unlocked in 42 days, even though currently the largest volume is already on the central exchange, I hope the liquidity in PancakeSwap will still be locked again for the convenience of investors. If the market cap of Meta MVRS is equivalent to Immutable X, then the price of this token has the potential to increase 169 times from its current price. It is equivalent to kill 30, but the initial target is the price can return to touch the previous all-time high. Alright. My conclusion. There are three pros and one cons to this project. The pros. The contract of the project has been renounced, the developer is not authorized for special permission with the contract that has been created. Second pros, this project burns supply periodically, 1% every week to 50% supply, this is designed to create deflation in these tokens which is expected to have an impact on token scarcity and gradual price increases. Third, the annual percentage yield that is given when staking is up to 1669%, of course that is a very massive amount for passive income. And, the cons. There is no detailed information on the initial distribution of tokens, and I found some wallets have the majority of supply and are sent from deployer wallets, so in my opinion, the majority of supply is still in developer hands. The problem is, these wallets are not tied to a smart contract, it's certainly easy to manipulate and sell which will impact the price of the token. That is my personal analysis of the Meta MVRS token. The analysis I use is based on blockchain transaction data. If you have any requests and questions, comment below. See you on next analysis, goodbye.